So let's start our program. First thing, we must press the button Program Manager. My computer has a lot of programs, so that's why this screen shows these programs already made. To start a new one, let's press New. Let's give a name to it. For instance, part underscore two. You can give any name you wish. Let's press OK. The Cinemeric opens a window for you to type your new program. First thing we can type semicolon and everything you type after semicolon will be ignored by the Cinemeric. So you can add any remarks you want. For instance, the name of the program part underscore one and row thing operation. To change to the next line, we must press enter. Let's start the program G90, which means the program is using absolute positioning. G95, which means feed rate in millimeters per revolution. G54, which indicates that the program will use the work coordinate system as its offset. And G71, which says the program is in metric system. Change to the next line. Let's type now this new function LMS equals 3000 RPM, which sets the spindle upper limit speed in 3000 RPM. Next line. Let's now call the two. Let's use the two number one. T1. After that, we type D1, which means uh, it's a command that activates two length offset. Let's now type G96, which means that machine will change the spindle speed automatically to keep the cutting speed constant S106 which means the cutting speed is 160 meters per minute and M4 which sets the spindle rotation in a counterclockwise sense Now we will type the path of the tool. Let's start by typing G0, X200 and Z200. So we move the tool to a safe position, far away from the part. G0 means rapid movement. Next line. G0, X0, Z2. Next line. And type G1, X0, Z0. F 0 0.1 G1 means linear interpolation 
to be used in linear movement when the tool is removing material. Here is something very important. The first time you use G1 function, you must set the feed rate, which in this case is 0.1 mm per revolution of the spindle. After that, every time you call the G1, it's understood that the feed rate will be the same. So we must not forget to type F0.1 for this case. Next line, G1 x 49 z 0 g1 x 49 z minus 50 G1 x 51 z minus 50 and finally the two returns to a safe position in rapid movement G0 x 200 Z 200 now, now we, we write M5 which is a function that stops the spindle and M30 which means end of program. Now we can simulate it. We can simulate by pressing this soft key simulation. Uh, the cinematic indicates that we must change to the automatic mode operation. We just have to press this button auto. To start the simulation, we must open a little bit the two potentiometers, here and here. Now we must press cycle start. And here is the simulation of this first program. We can zoom a little bit if you want to delete the window or clean it just press delete window let's press let's simulate again cycle start and now we can see the path of the tool If we realize that there is something wrong with the program, we can edit it. To edit, you must press the button Edit. Using the arrows, you can reach the block that you want to modify. Every time you simulate or execute the program, it is automatically recorded on the memory of the computer. Another thing is that we can put a number in front of each block. Uh, this can be done automatically just pressing read number. Realize that in front of every block we can find a number and 10 and 20 and 30 and so on 
so it makes very easy for us to find if there is something wrong. Sometimes the synomeric indicates which line is incorrect. Now if I want to load the program again, I go to Program Manager, press the button and find it on the list. Here is the problem. Now I press input and the program is loaded again. If I want to delete this program, I return to program manager, press it and press this button, delete. Cinematic asks if you want to delete. You press OK and the program is deleted.